lovies welcome to my July process video for my photo journal I have a lot <laughs> and I don't want to make these videos so sped up and so fast that they're not enjoyable but I also don't want to make them so long that you lose interest so I'm trying to balance it so just a pre-warning that there is more month of July process video coming because I kind of split it up into two videos I really hope you guys enjoy this I hope it's not too fast but if I made it any slower it'd be like a half an hour <laughs> But anyways, this is the 4th of July page that I'm doing here and that gorgeous star paper I just hauled recently from Hobby Lobby. Love it. And you guys probably recognize these stickers from the Target Dollar Spot. Love those stickers. I think I've used them on everything. I use them on my Happy Planner spread. I use them for Memorial Day. I used them again here. And as you can see, I still have a ton left. I probably have enough to use, reuse them actually next 4th of July. <laughs> But we all know that good old Target Dollar Spot will have a whole new, you know, collection out next year. And I will probably get those as well. <laughs> but these stickers did work beautiful. And I loved how they, they, they just worked perfect with that paper from Hobby Lobby. And all you guys see me doing here is I was determined to use that picture. I took about 15 pictures of fireworks and that was the only one that turned out half decent. So I was definitely using that in this spread. And it actually turned out really cute. It was so simple and simplistic and less is more, I guess. I have to teach myself that sometimes, but I think it turned out adorable. And then I'm going to line my um, uh, pocket page here, as you're going to see, with washi. I don't know what it is, but I really love putting washi on the sides. I do it for everything because I feel like it finishes the page off. And then you're seeing me um, make a shaker pocket for that little corner there. I'm hoping to build my stash of stuff to make shaker pockets because I am having so much fun with shaker pockets, let me tell you. I'm super excited for the holidays and to see all the new things that we get to use for shaker pockets because this is new to me because I just got my fuse tool. And I think it looks so cute, but I thought it needed just something a little more, so I decided to take one of the banners that came from the Target Dollar Spot and put it there at the top. And I think it just completely the page and made it adorable I just I think it turned out so stinking cute I loved it this 4th of July which you're going to get me get ready to see me journal here I decided to change things up and actually journal um in this page instead of journaling at the front of the month I'm changing things up a little bit so that I don't get bored with doing this I get bored with things really easy if I keep doing it repetitively but what I was trying to say is this 4th of July was extremely different than any 4th of July I've ever experienced in my entire life in the fact that it was freezing. I mean, to the point where we were so cold, we weren't sure we were going to stay to watch the fireworks. We were digging in our car for random towels, anything we can get on ourselves to cover up. It was so cold. I've never experienced in my 36 years a 4th of July that cold. It, it felt like it was winter. <laughs> it was crazy. So I journaled all of that and added a Project Life card and more washi from the Target Dollar Spots. And it is a completed page. And I think it turned out so stinking cute in my personal opinion. I hope you guys like it too. And so now we're getting ready to like flip the page here and we're going to be working on my son's birthday. I didn't go in any particular order because this is the 15th of July. But that little card that's sitting off to the side there that says happy birthday, as you can see, it came in the mail. That was a card that was mailed to my son from a college because he turned 18. And to me, it was like, that looks like a Project Life card. And I held on to it to use in his birthday spread. I just had to cover up that bottom there to, you know, cover up the name of the college. And if I didn't say, would you guys know that that was a card, like a postcard that was mailed to him? No, you'd think that was a Project Life card. <laughs> so I was super excited about that and now you just see me using um, some embellishments and I just want to mention that all of the embellishments that you see sitting here to use on my son's birthday spread were gifted to me by you lovies so thank you thank you so much I hope you know who you are you made my birthday my son's birthday spread as I was trying my words again absolutely beautiful I love it thank you so much for the wonderful gifts guys I try to use everything that I'm gifted because 
because it's just so, so special to me. I absolutely loved how this page turned out. I did it a little different. I took a cardstock and folded it in half because I wanted like a white clean slate because the balloons in these colors were so bright. I didn't want them to get lost. So I thought a white background would be perfect and I just punched holes on the side. So no pocket page protectors for this one. It's just gonna go in the book right as it is with all of these adorable embellishments that were gifted to me that really really make the page and we took my son on his birthday to his favorite place in the world which is uh, this little restaurant called Corson's because they have a huge seafood buffet my son is a connoisseur of seafood loves seafood so he was super thrilled <laughs> <laughs> that he got to load up his plate more than three or four times full of crab legs and goodies. So that definitely made his birthday and I cannot believe that I'm a mother of an 18 year old, but I am. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this was very special for us and I really hope he enjoyed himself and um, I really think that this page turned out beautiful for his 18th birthday and he's getting so big and I'm just going to stop talking about it or I'm going to cry on this video, but I love how this page turned out. And again, we're getting ready to flip back to the 4th of July weekend where we went to the zoo. And that beautiful zoo paper that you saw for a second before I flipped it over came from Hobby Lobby. I loved that zoo paper. It is really, really pretty. You're going to see more of it here in a minute. I do a pretty good job of pretty much covering it up, but <laughs> it is a really nice piece of paper to use for um, a zoo theme. Look at it, it's beautiful. It says zoo and it has the animals, but they're kind of faded. And I liked that because so the background isn't like this big pop of color. They're kind of faded into the background. So I really love that. And this is happens to be one of my favorite pictures of me and my husband that we took that day. So I'm using it as a stand standalone by itself as a five by seven and I'm just using some really pretty washi from the DT I'm sure all of you guys have seen this this was out last year and again some embellishments that I was gifted from Lovey's and these cute heart stickers that came from the DT and I think this page turned out so cute I'm so pleased with how the zoo layout came together it was beautiful now I'm just using my little um punch it's like a corner rounder punch that has like designs in it I love that thing it's such a simple little accent I guess but it brings so much elegance and like um, pop to the page I only have one I'm really hoping over the fall season that the ones that were out for spring and summer will go on sale so I can kind of build my stash so to speak with those because I really do love them and use them a lot and I only have one <laughs> and I'd like to have a little bit more of a divide you know diversity of of choice so anyways <laughs> just thought I'd throw that in there if you have those you guys definitely should use them I my personal opinion is it really does it brings a little life to the page and then I got these adorable cute little sticko stickers from I believe Hobby Lobby and I think it just the between the paper and the stickers and the pictures it just came to life even though I did do a pretty good job of covering that adorable paper up they turned out so cute I really am pleased with this layout look at that they're just adorable I just thought it turned out so good and that day was absolutely beautiful it was not cold it was perfect the weather was perfect and then I'm going to continue to use that washi that I got from the DT I love it and I will carry that over to the back side as well um, on two more pages from the zoom I'm really learning to kind of cut back a little on my picture taking because sometimes it's so difficult to choose what pictures you're going to use when you take so many so I'm trying to um, establish this new thing within myself that less is more <laughs> it's so hard though <laughs> so I picked one more picture of my daughter and I placed it with this beautiful embellishment again that I was gifted from you guys and I absolutely loved it and I just recently was gifted that and when I opened it I was like yes I'm so glad I didn't do that yet because this embellishment is gonna work perfect with my zoo spread and let me tell you look at it it did that ABC of animals ah 
perfect love it love it love it so I love how that turned out and see even though the paper is beautiful and but it's kind of faded like that it just I think it works it just works I love it very rustic feeling and I don't know I really love that paper that I picked up from Hobby Lobby so cute now I'm just doing the last little piece of this spread which is the lion and the tiger which were our favorite to see at the zoo and I'm just using that cute little monkey sticker to make it look like he's hanging off the picture and a little giraffe from those sticko stickers and you're gonna see this page is pulled all together everything gets pulled together with that little piece of washi off to the side which I mean, if I see that washi anywhere else at DT I haven't seen it in a while I'm picking me up another one because I really do love that washi and then I'm using another embellishment that I was gifted from a lovey here because I really wanted to bring a pop of color to the page and I think it worked out perfect I really do love my zoo layout and it was like it was a really good day so that is my zoo layout day look at that lion he was so big he looks small in the picture but he was huge he was big he was a big boy <laughs> when you see them on television you don't think they're that big but when you see them in person you're like wow and then we're gonna flip the scene one more time and we're going to the movies this is the day that myself my mom and my daughter went to see the shallows and we just had a really really good day and I took one picture and I want to document that because to me it was just a really good memorable day and I'm using this beautiful sticker pack again that I was gifted from one of you lovies you guys are probably gonna get sick of hearing me say that but I use everything that you guys give me because I believe when I add it to my personal pictures and things it makes them that more special in my personal opinion I'm gonna not get sappy I promise I promise but I love how that turned out and then on the back side you're not gonna see me do it but I'm gonna put memorabilia like the stubs and things like that on the back side of that so that pretty much is my process video for the month of July first half anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it wasn't sped up too much and I hope I didn't talk too much I hope you guys enjoyed it but until the next time we see each other do what you love be happy and I will be back soon in another video until then guys bye